What's up guys? So today we have a very interesting node inside of our mass series and that is the Orient node. And it's a pretty interesting node and it's really fun to actually play around with it. Uh, so without wasting any time, let's quickly get into it. So I'm gonna start off by taking a simple cube and uh, let's quickly go to mash and mash this up. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some red here and let's maybe take 14 and 14 and let's quickly place them to something like this. All right, so we have a very nice grid going on. And uh, let's turn off the grid. All right, and uh, what I'm gonna do is, let's quickly, so we have this Orient node, and which uh, Orient node allows you to do is, it basically orients uh, around one object only. So whatever that object, maybe you can take a locator, you can take a cube, uh, your own uh, controller, or a curve, or a primitive, whatever works for you. You can pretty much take anything. So it it will always look at that object only and you have very interesting uh, features for it. So first I'm just gonna modify this uh, cube of ours very quickly. So let's maybe keep it to point eight on the Y axis and uh, the Z axis. Actually I'm gonna keep it to point, uh, let's keep it to point four and four for the other direction. So we have something like this going on. All right, looks good. So the next thing I'm, what I'm gonna do is maybe a little less to something like this. Okay, let me just turn this on, all right. So let's go to mash and let's click on orient. All right, so you'll notice that we get something like this. Uh, all the cubes are oriented towards the center. And basically it asks for different types of input. Like for example, you have the Orient mode and the one has been set to velocity. Now velocity, which basically means the object will be oriented towards their own direction. They won't be contributing towards the object that we have. And then you have the aim at target and it can be anything. For example, we have this target option. So what I can do is I can take a cube and I can bring this up, I can scale this down a bit and I can call this controller. All right, so let's go back to mash, orient and middle mouse click and drop it onto aim at target. So now you'll notice that our cube is pretty much controlling the entire thing. So wherever this cube goes, these cubes will follow our cube. So it's as simple as that. All right, so it's really fun and interesting way to pretty much move or move your objects. Now the interesting part in Orient is if you go back to your mesh and you can also choose Orient to mesh, which basically means since we have our object that is controlling everything, if we Orient this, or let me just go back to uh, the Orient mesh and you'll notice that the input has not been connected. So I'm gonna drop this here. And now if you rotate this, you'll have a very nice control with your mesh network as well. So now you can also move them around. You can scale them down, you can move them, but you'll notice that the scale is not actually working. It's not scaling our object. Now there's another way to do that as well, but before getting into it, let's quickly understand how this works. So I'm gonna go back to aim at target and uh, we are gonna move this to have something very interesting looking animation. Now let's say if you don't want to orient all the axis, you can go back to your orient node and here you'll notice that you have the option to solo a certain axis. So if you go for the X axis, now you'll notice that only X axis is being moved. All right, you can also have another axis with it as well. You can change it to Y or maybe like a Z as well. So now you have Y only and you can move them. So it will only move one axis. So the, or you can choose to move around two axes as well. So that is another interesting way of creating, uh, sorry, another way of creating a very nice looking animation as well. All right, so yeah, there you go. So actually it's not uh, exactly working with the X and Y or two axes if you solo them, if you'll notice. So if we go back here and if I change the up factor, like up factor is basically it shows you where uh, your object is actually having the upper direction. So we can change that and we can move them around and we can change the axis of it. And uh, that way you will have more control over your object, All right? So I'm gonna keep it to Y, you can flip the axis. If you want smoother rotation, you can click on smooth rotation and you'll have a very nice looking object. 
uh, again the other thing is how much strength do you want on top of that uh, so I'm gonna remove the solar actually from here and uh, and uh, let's uh, go to here and you can change the strength you can randomize your entire strength and you can have this very nice flip looking animation and again obviously you can change the step value of it as well uh, now one more thing you can do is you can create a fall off and you can move that fall off as well if you want uh, but the other interesting thing is if you combine this let's say i'm going to quickly delete this fall off and if you combine your original mesh so i'm going to just reset everything on this um, to zero and let me just go back to the attribute let's go here and let's zero this out and let's give change to one one and one and let's change this to zero as well so there we go so we have a very a basic default cube all right and again it's movable and everything so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually change this uh since we already have orient and offset what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take an influence so we have already talked about the influence node and uh, what you can do is you can use this controller with your influence as well so if you go here you'll notice that we have this cube and i can change the scale of this and also if I have a rotation value, you'll notice that we have a rotation value. It's kind of looking towards it. And we can also change the scale value of this as well, which we couldn't do with the Orient node. So now you have the access to actually change both of them. And uh, so I saw some guy did it on Twitter, uh, showcasing both of these nodes. So shout out to that guy. And so this was actually a pretty interesting method of how you can use two multiple nodes to pretty much create something interesting looking. And what you can also do is if you want to animate this, I'm going to just keep it right here and let's uh, maybe scale uh, set key, right click and let's go to 40, um, maybe like 60 and we can go somewhere like here and I'm going to selected and I'm just gonna change one thing uh, since we have this rotation I'm just gonna increase this to maybe like this and I'm gonna key select this and let's maybe change this direction as well to maybe like 90 and X to 180 just so we have more room to play around with so we have something that looks like this all right, so we have something this type of orientation flipping so maybe I'm gonna just gonna go for a lower value like maybe a 90 and a negative 180 all right and so we have something that looks like this all right also what we can do is we can change the scalar value if you want we can have a very uh, small thinning as well to maybe like change this to one maybe right and maybe we want to increase this so there we have it so we have something that looks like this all right and then what we can do is we can copy this and we can paste it on our last keyframe and now we have this nice looping animation all right now we do have this uh glitchy rotation in between right about here where it pretty much switches all right and uh, there's probably a way to fix it we have to just play around with more like maybe switching the axis a bit um, sometimes it's, uh, it helps with the everything i'm just gonna so more room to play around but this is just an example of how you can do this i'll probably solve this later on but this is just idea of how you can combine two different uh, nodes to create this amazing looking animation so yeah, maybe you can add a bit more thing. You can take a simple color as well here. And uh, let's maybe add a bit more to it. And there you have it. So now you can actually create uh, your fall off with the color as well. And with the fall off, you can, we have already talked about the color if you have not uh, checked it out. Uh, so check it out. So you'll have better understanding with this node. And you can uh, again do the same. You can scale this down. And if you want to just copy the value of your 
uh, controller you can do that as well or what you can do is since we have this um, orientation going on as well you can use this um, color as well in the fall off and that way you'll have the color influence as well but it's just, since we are using a scalar value that means you'll have more access uh, more drastic change on the scalar value so now you have changed the scalar value but it fixes the problem but it loses the control over our scale since we also have a controller for using our scale so probably use a different uh, uh, follow for that or you what else you can do is you can go back to your controller and you can actually copy this value since we have I think uh, in the x-axis so you can do one thing just copy this um, control C and go back to your color control V this and you can set key here and the midpoint copy this as well all right, which is the simple 9 value positive 9 and set key this and again just a negative 9 value set key and there you go so now you have something that looks like this with the colors you can actually fill more colors in here let me just change this maybe less saturated all right i think that is maybe let's change the blending or something and i think uh maybe control can be a little different we can have a bit of like like set this and maybe we can set it to like this so let's set key this and uh, we'll copy this and paste it here all right that looks more organic so yeah all right looks good uh, again we if you want you can have a larger area for your uh, color as well if you want that so yeah it will affect uh, according to that thing so you can change the random seed you can use the velocity we have already talked about the uh, color node so you can check it out if you want to know more and just play around with it so this is just an idea of how you can uh, merge multiple different nodes to create one simple motion graphics so have fun with this uh, as i said this was a pretty interesting node to actually play around with um to create something so have fun with this and i'll see you in the next video